Good morning everybody and welcome back to another episode with Triple R. So today is a video that myself and Dave have been looking forward to doing for quite some time now. Uh, this is the kind of shit that we get excited about any anyway, day. We're, we're petrol heads, we're car guys and things like this get us very, very excited. So we have been invited down to a local restoration place at Middlesbrough. It's called ACL. Now it's Malcolm who's in charge of this business and he's been going for quite some time now but what we have noticed is that they don't have a lot of presence online and obviously we've had a bit of a chat with Malcolm explained that obviously online exposure is very important and Malcolm was more than happy to do a video so we're going down to collect a very very special car today uh, it's something that you don't see every day it's painted in aftermarket colour um, it is an older car it's had a lot of work and it's in beautiful condition now, I am going to keep you hanging on this one until the end of the video, so you will need to watch it to see what we pick up at the end. But what today's video will actually entail is a walk around ACL. Now, this guy has some wicked stuff um, at the business, so we're going to show you the cars. We'll give you an idea of what Malcolm does, and to be fair, we should give him a little bit of exposure. Most importantly, for people who follow the channel, if you have a classic car that needs the kind of work that Malcolm does, then you guys may be able to start a new connection and obviously do some business with Malcolm. So, uh, stay tuned. We've got a couple of cars to pick up today, so it's going to be a very interesting video. Both cars are built by the same manufacturer. They're both very sought after cars. They're both very rare cars. In terms of ages, I think there's about, how many years do you think? I'm just talking to Dave. Between the two cars, all the same manufacturer. Well, at least 10 or one there. I think, no, I think there's more than that. Uh, I reckon there's 15, 20 years between the time that both of these cars were built. Um, One's a very fast car and is quite modern but has classic looks and one's a very old school car. So please stay tuned and you'll see the cars and obviously what we're going to pick up today. Hello everybody and once again welcome back to Triple R uh, with a brand new video and a brand new direction. Now we are very pleased to have been invited by Mark on the business owner down to ACL in Middlesbrough. Now ACL is basically a restoration place. These guys can turn the hand anything. Um, we're very, very pleased to be invited here today. And this is where we are collecting today's car, which is coming in on sale or return. Um, the car that we're collecting is going to be shown at the end of the video, so bear with us for that one. But as you can see from the logo in the background, um, this is the home and the base of ACL. And what we're going to do today is we're basically going to touch base with Malcolm. He's going to run us through what these guys do, what they're all about. Now, me personally, I've been involved in cars in the Northeast now for 10 to 15 years. Um, personally, I hadn't actually heard of ACL, which to me um, is a bit unusual because when I come down here, I feel at home instantly with the cars that they've got. Malcolm's taught us through the process and I've looked at the workmanship here and it's absolutely fantastic. And I feel like places like this, where Malcolm is, is quite an old school guy, guy, but he's open to new opportunities. And I just feel like a, a bit of internet will definitely help his business a little bit more and get the name out there so that's what we're looking to do with this video and um, we'll cut the next clip and Malcolm is actually going to give us a tour introduction and a walk around of what happens here at ACL involved in a lot of professionalism so when each customer comes here they get their own customer number each and every job that comes through whether it be today or in 10 years time the customer will always have their own number so Malcolm knows what work has been done before uh, Malcolm do you want to show us obviously how this all works yeah, when a customer comes in, obviously it's, this is a job number, that's just a particular example okay. for a future customer. Um, and each daily job, the, the jobs that the, the, the technicians are working on, they have a, a system where they write everything down and okay. then that's put, put on the PC yeah. um, and logged and sent directly through to the customer on the invoicing, which is on each month. Also, we have um, customers that come in who want a car inspecting they may be buying it from another dealer and it comes to us. Yep. And they want it to, um, to make sure that it's absolutely uh, perfect for them and any faults find. And often anything they want doing is that it's put right by us. I've got, yeah. Before the car goes out. So I'm getting obviously the personalization yeah. side is very, very it's important. Sort of very comprehensive yeah. key. It's sort of basically it's based on sort of the main dealer style of systems. That okay. Main dealers that they, they use. Yeah. Um, we are moving into um, doing it on a, a pad. Right, okay, yes. Very soon, so, so that's, we're working on that. So nicely. basically, obviously, what Mark just showed us there is, is his own version of like a, a kind yeah. of a PDI report, yeah. um, which each customer car gets. 
Um, and basically, what he says, the check process, he was very, very thorough. There's nothing missed, yeah. no stone unturned, so which is obviously great. And um, what we're going to do is we'll get Mark to talk us around some of the little projects. There are some things here uh, which require customer confidentiality, which we can't show you today. But we'll um, we'll get Mark to show us around what he's got and what kind of works currently going on here. Um, what's this one, Malcolm? Uh, this is a 1979 Ford Bree. Uh, Four-wheel drive, one of only one in the UK. Impressive. Um, the other one, there is another one, but that was a Mark One. This is a Mark Three gear. Um, this one was converted um, by um, Ferguson Four-wheel Drive Company um, on license from the Ford Motor Company's uh, competition department. Yeah. In that period, uh, this was shipped directly from Cologne into the UK to Ferguson to be done um, and converted to. Um, four-wheel drive it's currently got a v6 swaymar engine in it with a nice, holy carburetor yeah. um it's, it's found in a barn just last year of, in the northeast it's come to us for a full refurbish because we wouldn't take it anywhere else just wanted to come in here and um and then, then it's going on display at the nec next year i have personally never seen the one i didn't even know these exist i never knew that they made a four-wheel drive version yes, of the Caprice. Yes. so to me yeah. this is the first time i've ever yes. seen one and to be fair I don't think you'll see another. So, um, as Malcolm was saying, when this one is finished again, this obviously ties into the, the level of quality of work here. Malcolm's work is going to be displayed at the NEC. You all know, obviously, if you're interested in watching about cars, you all know how important and how prestigious the NEC is. So, for this to go down there, it does say a lot about the quality of work here at ACL. Um, can we move on to the next one, Malcolm? What yeah, else have we got? Um, this is XJS, which is the... Um, it's um, American import. Yep. The customer bought it from America, had it shipped directly through to us for all the work to be done. Um, it's, a, it's a repaint, it's a full retrim inside, all the wood's being done, all the, the walnut. Yeah. Um, this is a left hand drive. It was originally going to Marbella, but now it's now going to Portugal. Right, okay. It's finished, so it's, a, it's going to be excellent. This is why it's the same left hand drive. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Like the styling and all the, yeah. the vents and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. They actually remind us of like an Astra GTE style bonnet yeah. vent yeah. kind of things that I was in it, but it's wild yeah. that. Well, this was being specially done, this bonnet. Uh -huh. we've, we've done all this. Right. Ready for oh, you have done this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had it done down in the West Midlands. Right, and right. The customer wanted this sort of style, like the old school sort of style. And In, in, the, in the Max Power days, uh, I always used to see Renault 5 turbos with, yeah. and there was a company, I can't remember the name of the company, um, Cool Louvers was the company back yeah. in the day. Yeah, well, Beecham's Jaguars, they used to do that on their Mark IIs, exactly like that. Right. Uh, on the um, tuned-up versions for racing. Nice. With the vent in the bonnet, the louvers, yeah. They're, they're, um, it's really cool, it's different. I've, ne I've never seen nothing like that, to be yeah. fair. Do you want to get some of the details, Dave, and get the interior and a quick yeah. walk round? Yeah. There's not much of the interior in, because uh, we're just waiting for the interior to come back from the... What I, I just saw the guys working on up there when I came in. Yeah, yeah. So what they've been doing is um, sorting all the chrome out, all the headlights is going to go back in. Looks lovely now. The wheels are going to be refurbished and new tyres on it, obviously. Yeah. yeah. It just it was it was pretty rough when it came to us. It's definitely looking the part now, though. It's it definitely is, getting it's really there. Coming on, yeah. It's definitely and, different. Yeah. But you see what we do as well. You see, we we cover things. Yeah. You know, we don't just. Yes. You know, you can see with the shop, it's so clean. Of course, yeah. You know, we do take care of the customers' yeah. cars as well. That's that's one thing I will say, guys, as well. Like, obviously, normally when you come into a workshop, um, Malcolm self-confessed is an old school guy, but has old school properties, but in other ways, not. I know a lot of old school people are very messy and the workshops are all over, yeah. but this isn't. It's very, very tidy in here. It's very, very well kept. And like you said, like little details, like keeping people's hands off stuff as well is important. So, you know, there's a certain level of care involved here at ACL as well. Um, Malcolm, one thing that I really, really like here, even though I shouldn't, is this um, this beetle. Well, I know you had a, a, crap, a crap with me before, but can you tell me about the kitten? Yeah. What's going on? I love this. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Well, this, this beetle um, was built by somebody else, and again, it's sent to us to finish off because of our quality of the jobs that we do and the yes. attention to detail, door gappings, and you know, all kinds of things like that. The kit is uh, manufactured in America, shipped over to the UK. The, the customer. The, the customer had it done further north near Newcastle and he wasn't particularly happy that it was, wasn't good so yeah. he sent it to us to get it finished off quality bit lacking eh? yes it was yeah um, but what we've done is we've done a lot of work to it we sorted the headlights out we sorted the inner wings out he wanted sort of the old school like um, pickup truck um, 
you know, like step cider, which is yes, kind of thing like a proper seat. American kind of look. Yeah, then. yeah. He wanted a bench seat at the back, which we've sort of now we've done. The, I think that's what I would want. I like the bench seat. I think it's yeah. a nice touch. So we've done that to make that so it, it looks like the customers. Um, uh, you can't totally make it without doing a lot of modification. For yes, unless you brakes and sort of that kind of stuff. But if you if you want to go that far, you just wanted to go. So he's got a bit of seat to on either side, a little bit in the middle, and a full backrest. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's going to be red and white inside when he's finished. And this this particular customer owns a wheel shop, is that right? He does, yeah. So it's a wheel and tyre importer. You can imagine the kind of presence uh, this kind of thing would have if you sell them wheels with, obviously, the graphics on, nice set of wheels, obviously, we've run there which for me, the white wall tyres, I thought were a lovely touch. I thought they were beautiful. Um, and again, the quality. I think the thing that I liked about this, Malcolm, was the, the, the back bed. Yes. The back, can we have a look at the back the bed? Customer, you're talking now, this one's almost finished now. The customer's now talking for us to build another one for him. Right, okay. But, um, and this one's, you talking about it on, put it on an Audi. Converting an Audi. Basically, what they do is chop the back off. Yeah. And it's all sort of uh, nut and bolted and riveted in. But as you can see with the back bed, yeah, see, that's what I like. I thought that was really cool when I when I look and imagine building a truck like this. That's the kind of thing that I would have in there. Yeah. I think that looks quality. Yeah. Because what we've done as well, as you probably notice, that we we took care to make sure that all the the screws even line up with the rivets. I can see that. Yeah, side, so yeah. everything is not tension to detail. Eh? Uh, you know, it just looks. Um, yeah, it looks really looks the part. Yeah. I'll not disclose the price, but I uh, asked Malcolm how much it would cost to build something like this, um, and I was I was quite surprised. But for somebody like us as well, I think this is something that we would kind of like for our for our shop. I think yeah. this would be awesome. Um, yeah. It would definitely attract, attract the right kind of yeah. attention. Yeah, this is the like, this is the unusual things that we that comes to us. It's just not it's not the everyday. We get a lot of everyday classics in. We yeah, we do. We've got the X one nine in. Yeah, which has come in. But this this is sort of thing that we sort of excel on it's it's it, it, to be fair it's the kind of thing that obviously we get really excited about malcolm every day is different yeah um, exactly, and yeah. when you get stuff like is it it, yeah. it keeps the job exciting doesn't it as well yeah, and you know i'm impressed obviously the fact that you guys can kind of turn your hands by the looks of it that absolutely yeah. anything yeah which is great um this is can we show this one is that all right yes, well, this is this, this this is probably my favorite car in the the shop at acl now i I'm not normally into MGs, but when I had a look at the paint on this car and the quality of, of how it's looking at the minute, it really impressed me. I absolutely love the colour and the, the workmanship that's gone at this is, is awesome as well. So what yeah. we're doing with this one, Malcolm? What's this, this, is, um, this is a 1972 GT. Um, it's never been welded in its life. It's exactly as it come out of the factory, but it's a one owner car from a customer down in Bridport in Dorset. Um, this is the second job we've done for him. Um, so he's obviously pleased with what we do. Yeah. Um, and what it is, he wanted to change the colour. It was um, like golden sand, harvest gold, that's it. Yeah. It was, but he wanted to change the colour. So I talked to him about the colour and he said, the gold metallic beige, which is the metallic colour. And this was only on MGs, main on MGCs from um, 1968 to 69 and a half, um, just in that short period. But obviously this is a completely full build. It started off just like, can you give it a respray? Can you do this? But then he looked at it and said, yeah. Call it the carried away. Eh? Get carried away. Yeah. So uh, it's it's yeah. phenomenal, mate. It really is a true credit. I mean, that 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 paint work for me is, is absolutely outstanding. And that, although it's an old school colour mark, to me, it looks like it could be on any modern car as well, which is what I like about yeah, it. Sure. But everything's, it's almost going to be a brand new car, at least. I, yeah, I can see. I can, I can see. If you look at the suspension as well, Dave, do you want yeah, to get the yeah, suspension there? So that was the original springs there, but the yeah. mark is on. That's the new spring. You see how the other ones have dropped. Yes, I over time sag over time, yeah, really hard. Well, you can yeah. see the workmanship. Obviously, as Dave's going round the yeah. the front end, that front corner there is it's great. It's going to be new. Yeah, um, he wants walnut on the door cappings. Yeah, walnut on the dashboard, which is a burr walnut. Yeah, um, and then the seats and the door panels um, are going to be uh, so dark red, blood red. Awesome. It'll stand out a mile as well with that it's paint on it. It'll pop. Yeah, it really it'll be will. beautiful. It really will. Do you know what? I, obviously, in with regards to relationships and, and a bit of a future visit, if you like, I would actually like to come back and, and especially this one, just yeah. see it oh, yeah. fit when Definitely. it's finished. From this video, I think yeah. it'll be awesome yeah. to see this yeah. as, a, as an end product yeah. Yeah. because it's, it's, it's great. It's just so, so nice. Well, we've done a lot of these over the years, a lot of these cars. You know, I've got photographs up on the wall in the office. Um, 
So we don't have to work on the beautiful marks in there, so it's going to be yeah. out now. And then that will be finished off. The, the quality of the paint, though, I mean, the finish is, is, is spectacular yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, in rolling in with the punches and obviously what Martin does here, um, they also offer an inspection service, which I feel like it might be very useful to um, people, obviously, who are watching the channel. If you were wanting to buy a classic car as an investment up and down the country, yeah. and you don't quite know what you're looking for, obviously, Malcolm's area of expertise is second to none, and these guys also do a full inspection process. So if you all want to spend a lot of money, but you're not sure about the car itself, uh, Malcolm, sorry, Malcolm does invite customers, obviously, at a, at a cost, into ACL, and he will do a full inspection on whatever you're buying to let you know if it's good, bad or indifferent and if it's worth its money so again i feel like as a big thing there potential buyers for yeah, investments definitely without a doubt yeah. yeah it just gives them a safeguard that they know that the car is going and they can drive it safely and everything is done right and yeah it's, it's, it's correct yeah and it's obviously correct. with regards to the background and that as well obviously had a bit of a chat with malcolm earlier and malcolm does have customers not just in the country all over the world yeah. um people who are rich and, and famous in other countries and Malcolm does full inspection so it lets you know like we're not messed about here this guy does everything proper and if you want an inspection uh, ACL is probably the place to come for that um, anything else you want to show us Martin before we cap it off we'll see the little X19 then yeah. uh, the X19 is, um, this particular car uh, again customer found us mm -hmm. and said can you can I have it in bring it in I've got a few little quirky things that's wrong with it and um, since it's been in, we found a lot more wrong with it. Right. <laughs> yeah, the usual story. Yeah. But uh, he's happy for us to continue doing it. This car was actually sold through um, Bangers and Cash. Oh, right. Okay, so it's got a bit of history then. Yeah. yeah. It's got a bit of history. Sold through Bangers and Cash. Um, the guy's brother bought it. The guy who owns it now, his brother bought it. Um, unfortunately, his brother passed away. So ah, sorry. then it just passed to him, and you can edit that bit if you want. Yeah, and that's where we are. Yeah, and then, but it's just telling the story behind it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he just brought it in, and it's it's one of the very last. It's a 1989, and it's um, a special. Uh, it's, it's a very rare car. They didn't, not many of these have these wheels on. And so um, we're just doing a few jobs to it. I find a problem with the starter motor at the moment. I recognize, obviously. The, the badges, obviously. Yeah, the um, Tony, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. obviously we, mm -hmm. I was in the Vauxhalls at one point, and obviously a lot of the Vauxhalls yeah, had yeah, that had yeah. that badge on it them did, as well, yeah, so I recognise yeah, that. Yeah. But they're a cool looking car. They, they, yeah. They're very good for the time, aren't they? Yeah. It's all, do you know what? It's almost got remnants of like here, of like a TR7, yeah, the short, yeah, shorter yeah, TR7, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that, um, they must have looked at this when they designed the TR7, but there's not a lot of these cars exist, these X19s now. Uh, I haven't seen a lot. No, you won't, because no. they rust, rust terribly. Yeah. Fortunately, this one's got, you know, we've got an inspection, we've got a bit of marks on the, there where, where the, where it's got a little bit of... Yeah, where it needs a bit of tension for the corrosion tension. and stuff. So we've just been around and checking out, and all these little dots mean something to Right. Us. That's the way we're doing. Okay. You know? And the sound of the little Land Yeah, I like that. That's fantastic, that thing. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, one's, um, again, another one, another lady um, owns that. Yeah. Found us on that particular, found us and said, I want to bring the Land Rover in. This started from last November. And she said she wanted to come in, she wanted the bumpers freshening up, the roof rack taking off, that freshening up, the lighting sorted out, um, the side steps and the wheels. Oh, yeah, last time I was there, you had the roof rack on the floor ready for yeah. powder coat, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, they've just been on today and they're just wiring through the wires around and wiring up the lights. And um, It's a wicked, wicked looking thing. I is, said it reminds yeah. of the Tomb Raider yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. It's a really, really, really bonny yeah. thing. Um, so that's the sort of job we do. But since that's been here, she's rang us and said, can you valet it for us? Right. So it's, on Monday it's going to be valeted and she's picking it up on Tuesday. It'll right. be finished. It'll be finished by tomorrow. But um, So yeah, so as you can see from what Malcolm's saying, obviously it's not just old school cars. Malcolm can kind of turn his hand or anything here. Yeah. Um, and it looks like, obviously, to be fair, everything you've seen today, as you can see from the workmanship, is, is really, really good quality. Yeah. Um, but yes, Malcolm, obviously, it was great to talk to you. Yeah. Great to meet you. Um, and thanks to Triple R for the introduction yeah, to you. ACL. Yeah. And yeah. we'll be in touch soon. Obviously, with Malcolm here, so we'll get down here and we'll keep on with the MG project. And um, we'll put the contact details out for Malcolm. We'll put the um, web address, the Facebook address, and the phone number for ACL in the comment section of the YouTube video. And you'll see more from ACL very soon. Thank you.
So yes, there you have it, our beautiful 2002. This will be photographed and up for sale very, very soon. But obviously, I don't the video, I just thought I would do a little walk around and show you the car. It's a very, very cool old thing. Just a very period car, these. Um, it's mad to think, well, you can actually realise when you jump inside of these things, like how brittle they are. You can understand how so many of them actually rotted away and, and turned into nothing. Um, our other collection today, which definitely 100% deserves a mention, is this beautiful Silverstone E39 M5 V8 as well. Uh, this one has came from exactly the same place. Pick both cars up off the same guy. But again, in fantastic condition. And again, this is another car. It is sale or return. As you can see, she's a bit wet there. Unfortunately, it's the worst weather I've seen in ages up here. It's snowing today, so... As you can see outside. It's not looking great. Trimming this one's outstanding as well. And just see what kind of condition this 39 is in. It's just absolutely stunning. But that will conclude our video for today. Uh, big thanks to the guys at ACL for letting us have a walk around their place. Um, as said in the previous clips, please keep an eye in the comments section and we will put links to ACL. I would highly recommend anybody locally who has a classic car to give these guys, um, well, to give them a bit of a phone call or a look on the site. I think the works obviously those guys do is, is pretty phenomenal looking at the standard and the quality. So thanks again for staying tuned to Triple R. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're watching our channel for the first time, please like and subscribe.